Hello and welcome to Games with Loafers. The game is Undertale, the Loafers is me, Loafers, we're doing a pacifist run. Today we're going to have dinner with a skeleton. This, this isn't a blind playthrough anymore, I'm afraid. What, haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. That's how that works, Sans. I'm going to Grillby's, will I come? Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here, I know a shortcut. Pretty good foreshadowing, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hi, Sansy. I'm, I'm kind of making up these voices as I go along. Hey, Sans, weren't you here for breakfast just a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Here, get comfy. <laughs> Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whooping cushions on the seats. Don't know who that could have been. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Fries, because I'm a vegetarian. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Will be? We'll have a double order of fries. <clears throat> so, what do you think of my brother? Very cool. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. You'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Nah. More for me. Oh great. <laughs> he drinks it. And then he scratches his butt. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the line guard. One day, he went to the house of the heads of the line guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's uh, still a work in progress. He's pretty good in the fight. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Funny story actually. Some people were really freaked out by this scene. I was just like, oh yeah, this is a reference to the talking flower. So you know all about it. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them and they will repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using a necklace flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, eh? Thanks. <clears throat> Well, that was a long break. Can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just 10,000 gold. Yeah, totally. Just kidding. Groby, put it on my tab. First time I played this game, I thought he was being for real. I, I am bad at jokes sometimes. Which is bad in my line of work. Not that this is a line of work. For me, anyway. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Thanks for the input, Sense. Oh, don't forget an important contribution from Doggo. Thank goodness. Do 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 Hmm. See you later, Sans. Use the box? Yeah, sure. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Here we got everything. I'm pretty sure the snowman piece counts if you just, like, take it out at the end or something. Huh? There's a camera behind the waterfall. 
Oh, I remember what to do here. You gotta look, but there's a secret passageway right behind the waterfall. What you don't do is fucking that. <clears throat> Found it. Oh, that's just the old tutu. I suppose I'll grab it. Uh, yeah, can't hurt. Hmm. Uh-oh. Uh, hi, Undyne. I'm here with my morning report. Chips are going ape. Drafts remain above us all. Uh, regarding that human I told you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Y yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well, no. I tried very hard on time, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But on time, you don't have to destroy them. You see... You see... I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Loafers. Bye. So that's Undyne. You meet her properly later. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. What do you do to get her attention? <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Well, the thing I did to get her attention was be human. Let's save here. A feeling of dread hangs over you, if you say so, game, but you stay determined. A feeling of dread hangs over... the character, maybe? Except not even, because the character has done this before as well. Bibbidi boop. Actually, to be fair, a feeling of dread generally hangs over me. This is Aaron. Aaron is self-evident. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh dear, oh dear. What do I do? Flexing competition. You flex harder. Action. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Mm, nice. I won't lose though. Fuck. Fuckery. Fuckery, Zachary. Okay. I may be only out of health, but don't worry. You flex. Iron flex is very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. See? There. Problem solved. Now, what's the info on this? Nice green. He yields 15 HP. Instead of a joke, the rapper says something nice. Uh, I, I will use that. An illustration of a hug. Aww. What a great idea. Someone should actually make that for realsies. And that someone should be Toby Fox. Fuck. So the last time I did this puzzle, I finally figured it out, but... No, I figured it out first time, but I forgot what the bell does. And then I rang the bell, and then I had to do it again anyway, despite having gotten it the first time. So, I'm glad you didn't have to see that, but at the same time, I'm telling you anyway, so what the fuck. Anyway, I'm getting a phone call, excuse me. Hello! This is Papyrus! Hey, it's me, Loafers. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. <laughs> so, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a faded ribbon. Is that true? Are you wearing a faded ribbon? I will say yes. So you are wearing a faded ribbon. Got it. Wink, wink. Have a nice day! I'm sure that'll be fine. You have to be truthful with your friends, you know? Anyway, let's deal with Washua here. Uh, cleanse me, Washua. Cleanse me.
cleanse my soul. Good fucking luck. Uh, 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 uh. Cleanse me of the filthy memes. How do I... Tell a joke? Tell a joke about the kids who slept in the soil? No. Archer's power is neutralized. No, that joke's too dirty! Fuck. Fuck. Oh, I get it. Dirty. Watch with his friends with a little bird. <sighs> what about touch? You reach out. Watch what records from your touch. Yuck! I thought the soap might be healing the first time I got this because, you know, soap. I'm out of here. You each one have the bicycle. Your HP was maxed out. That gives you 11, but it's a double use thing. Also, there's a hole in the wall. Hang on, there's a thing back here, is there? No, there's not. Oh, hang on. Is this the thing? Ancient writing covers the wall. You can just make out the war and the words. The war of humans and monsters. Why does the humans attack? Indeed, it seems that they has nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows us to persist outside the human body, even after death. That answers a lot of questions. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul. A horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. Here we go. Oh boy. Here we go. Hi, it's me, Lovers. Undyne, no! Undyne, please! Undyne! Whoa! Look at those rad dodging skills! Whoa! 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 Fuck me! I, I, I mean that in the alarm sense. I'm not even sure it hit me that time, but I'm probably wrong on that score. Using the loading screen to dodge. Rubbish. Let's be clear on this score. Undyne did not just stab the monster kid in the fucking face. Which is what I thought the first time, and I was kind of horrified. You just like grabbed him, grabbed him. Anyway, let's go. Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me. I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky? If you were standing just a little bit to the left, you know it's going for irony. But to be honest, if Undyne touched my face, I'd be fine. I, I don't even mean that in a crush way, I mean like Undyne is quite cool once you get to know her. Spoilers I guess, but fucking whatever. Yo, don't worry, I'm sure we'll see her again. General Ruli can befriend everyone in Undertale, okay? The spoiler, the spoiler is how. And I do mean everyone. Well actually there's one person I think you can't. Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal, and she fills you with determination. Tune in next time with Games with Lover since we will extract the cheese from the mystical crystal, except we probably won't. We'll keep going through the waterfall. This has been Games with Lovers, the Lovers has been me, Lovers, the game has been Undertale, this has been a passive throne, Papyrus has been Papyrus. Be sure to click the dislike button if you hate this, leave your thoughts in the comments above, and click the subscribe button wherever it is here. Thank you, I love you. Mwah!